Hey guys, so today what we're gonna be doing is playing with new makeup. So I've been to Ulta, I've been to the drugstore, I have like not a ton of stuff, but I have some things that I saw were new, things that I haven't tried before ever, and I thought we could do it together. The majority of it is affordable and from the drugstore. Yes, we love a good affordable video, especially me. You guys know I'm all about affordable beauty. I don't know what I'm doing with my hands. Anyways, I feel like I'm like a broken record. Like I always start my videos with, I look wretched as fuck, but I do. So, you know, wait until the end. I'll look cute by the time it's done. Maybe I'll even do my hair, we'll see. Also, I got these cute little decorations. Oh, how cute! For fall, I got these at Target. This was only $3, and then this cute little ass pumpkin was only $3. And then I actually got these lights like four months ago at Marshall's for like seven bucks, never put them up. Actually, I asked Matthew to put them up like forever ago and he never did. He finally just did it the other day and I was like, I forgot I had those because like you never put them up, you know? Anyways, that's my man for you. The Target dollar section, I think I sat in that section for like, 20 minutes trying to convince myself not to buy anything. I only bought two things, but they were cheap. But yeah, I wanted to show you guys my cute little fall decor since they were so affordable. Let's go ahead and jump in. So I'm gonna start with eyes because that's how I like to do. Okay, I just wanted to zoom you guys in, but we're gonna go ahead and start off with eyes. I'm starting with my soft Eduka. I literally don't know what I would do if this primer got discontinued. I'm gonna do one eye on camera and I'll do the other one off camera because that's boring. This is from Maybelline. This is the City Mini Palette. Now, I have never tried these before. I'm actually not a huge fan of drugstore eyeshadows. I love like the NYX glitters and pigments, and I love the Palladio Crush Metallic shadows. But when it comes to matte shadows, I just have never had the best of luck. I love drugstore. Like, I love drugstore so much. So freaking much. Me and my sister were actually talking about this the other day because she does makeup too, but she lives in the Middle East and she doesn't have access to as much drugstore um, as we do here. Like they don't have Targets and Walmarts and stuff like that. So she said it's really hard for her to get a lot of drugstore makeup. So when she comes and visits, she goes hard. Like she stocks up. We were talking about it the other day. I was like, I just don't really feel like, I feel like I've been reaching more for drugstore things over high-end things, you know? So I love drugstore. You guys know I love drugstore. I do a ton of drugstore videos, but when it comes to eyeshadows and palettes and matte shadows, I'm not interested in trying it because I haven't had the best of luck. But I wanna change that. So I went ahead and picked this up. This is from Maybelline, the City Mini Palette in High rise sunset it looks like this and these are my motherfucking tones this looks so promising and so pretty I love the color so I was like let's try it it said on the little display that this was new I heard really great things about these city mini palettes so I was like you know what let's just go ahead and try it like why not it'll be fun Ooh. okay okay you know what I stand to be corrected, not bad. All right, I'm just gonna wipe this on my thigh because that's how I roll. I haven't been setting my eyeshadow base, but I'm gonna set it today just because I wanna test out this creamy matte shade. I'm gonna show you guys, but yeah, this one. I'm just gonna go ahead and just set that. Since this is an all matte palette, it's okay. I'm gonna take this brush from Morphe. This is a newer one for me. I think I've only used it like once or twice, but I told you guys I went to the Morphe store that opened in Houston a couple of, I wanna say it opened like, I don't know, back in the summer. I picked up this brush. This is the R40. I wanna see what the hype is because I seriously feel like I say this in so many videos. I've tried so many Morphe brushes. 50% I love, 50% I fucking hate, but I heard that this collection, like the rose gold was better quality. So I'm testing this out. I've used it like maybe two or three times and I like it so far, so we're just gonna further play with it. I'm gonna go ahead and take this yellow shade right here and just run this through the crease. It's pretty pigmented on the brush. Let's see. I don't know how I feel about this. I feel like it looks a little patchy. Is that just me? Let me try to go in with a little bit more. It's grabbing on certain parts of the eye. Yeah, that looks a little patchy. I'm not obsessed with that. Okay, um, let's go ahead and just move on. I don't think it's the brush either because I've used that brush and it's been fine, so I'm not gonna blame it on the brush, but let's just go ahead and move on. I'm gonna go in with this orange right here. I love that color. By the way, I'm taking this with uh, a Sigma brush. This is the E25. I'm just gonna go in with 
like a regular brush that I know works for me. I don't like this. That's patchy, right? It's not just me. I don't know what's happening. Like, I'm not happy. Okay, I think it's getting better. The more I go in and build it up, it actually looks like it's getting better. I wonder also if it's because I set my base. I'm gonna go ahead and give it the benefit of the doubt because in here it looks really dry. Like it looks like my eye is dry. Like it's grabbing just in this specific area. So I'm gonna have to try, I'm gonna try this eye without the base and see how that works. But I'm gonna take this brush. This is another one of the Morphe brushes that I got. This is a R39. It looks kind of like the E40 but not quite as fluffy. This is a little more dense. I'm gonna go ahead and take this one right here. This one's really pretty. I love these tones. Like I'm loving the color scheme of this. Picks up really nicely. This is a natural hair brush too, so. Ooh, kind of flick off the excess. I'm gonna take this like right in this part of my crease, right below the orange. Ooh. Oh, this one, okay, this is way better than the first two. This has like some color application. Do you guys like watching first impressions? You're gonna have to let me know. I personally love to watch first impressions. I love Casey Holmes' first impressions. She does them all the time on her channel. And I just love to watch them. I love to see like that initial reaction. You guys are gonna have to let me know if you like watching first impressions. And I can do more, cause I'm always testing out new things, but I don't know, you guys just let me know what you think. I'm gonna take this little IBY Beauty brush. This is a crease brush. I like to use this for the outer V. And I'm gonna go in with this dark brown right here. This brown is not as dark when you actually try to put it on your eye. I should have taken this through the crease and then put this on the outer V. Now that I have this on my eye, this is deeper than this shade, but I didn't know that. That's what I normally do. Like when I see a palette like that, like with Modern Renaissance, I usually do the darker brown on the outer V and then the reddish or like more of like that burgundy shade through the crease. It's definitely powdery. I, I don't know how I feel about that. Okay, I'm gonna take this shade right here. It's like a peachy matte shade. I'm gonna go in with my Sigma, this is a firm shader E57. This is a brush that I thought I left at a client's house and then I ended up finding it and I was so happy. Just in case anybody was wondering what happened to the brush. Um, it's coming off more as a cream shade, but in the pan it looks really peachy. Let me go ahead and show you guys. This is a cream shade, right? This is peachy. But on the eye, it doesn't look peachy. On the eye, it looks more of like a bone colored shade. My eyeshadow looks like shit. I'm, uh, uh, nah, 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 nah. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and do my other eye off camera. I'm gonna go in with my same base, but I'm not gonna set it this time. And I'm gonna see how that works and then I'll come back and let you guys know in just a second. Okay, I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. So I just went ahead and did this eye off camera I did not set my primer on this eye like I did on this one this eye looks so much better I think the issue was that I set this side and I don't think these shadows work well over set primer this one blended way 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 better my initial first impression was oh my god <laughs> I look like shit. Usually if I try something initially and I'm like, it's not working out for me, I'm like, okay, I don't wanna try it again. Like, I don't wanna have another crappy makeup day. But after trying it on this eye with not setting my base, um, it makes me wanna play with it more. This eye looks way better than this one. So far, so good. Just don't set the base. So I went ahead and put on my lashes. These are not new, but I've only worn them once, so I wanted to do them again. These are from Baddington lashes. I actually got these in a boxy charm and they're the Monroe 3D Silk lashes. I do like these lashes. I just honestly forgot that I had them. I have my face primed already. I have my Too Faced Peach Primer. I have that in my T-zone and then I have this one from Becca. This is the first light priming filter on the rest of my face. So I just went ahead and did that off camera. I do have a new foundation. It's this one right here from LA Girl, this is the Pro Matte HD Definition Long Wear Foundation. I got this at Ulta, it was on sale for like five bucks and I've always wanted to try it so I was like, let's just go ahead and pick it up. I think this is gonna be too light for me because I'm still tan, so it might not match but that's okay. I'm more interested to see how it wears because before you know it, my tan will be faded and I'll be back to my pale pasty self. But I got the shade beige and actually before I even go in and use that, I'm gonna take a little bit of shape tape and just try to cover up this motherfucker on my face. Oh, this is really light. 
Oh, bitch. I'm about to look like Casper the Friendly Ghost. All right, that's fine. We'll see if we can make this work. This is probably like two shades lighter than my chest. Oh my God. Okay, if this is good, I can save this for the winter for when my tan goes away. But yeah, it's definitely too light right now. I think I did two pumps, by the way. It's looking a little cakey around this area. I've been having issues lately where this has been getting cakey, even with my regular foundations, but it's... Hmm. It looks okay. It looks okay. I don't know yet. It's too light, that's for sure. I know it's called beige, but on the website it said that this was a more yellow undertone foundation. It's looking a little more neutral. It doesn't look quite as yellow as what I need, but... It's okay, we're testing out new things. That's what this video is for. Um, this isn't quite full. Probably more of like medium to medium full. Obviously you can still see this. And then I can see some spots that I have like old blemishes that never went away. But the coverage is nice. I covered my rosacea. It's grabbing a little bit where the mattifying primer is, but um, you never know. Foundation is one of those things where I kind of have to play with it a couple of times to see how I feel about it. So I'm not gonna judge it right away. It doesn't look bad anywhere else. It's just right here. So maybe with a different primer, I might have to try it with that. I'm just taking a little bit of shape tape. I'm using light medium honey it's more peachy so it's going to counteract those dark circles that i have and then light sand underneath it to kind of brighten so i'm just going to blend this out i looked for a new concealer to try at ulta but there was just not one that was calling my name to be honest with you i'm also at a place right now where i'm waiting for my tan to fade so i don't want to try a ton of like foundations and concealers and powders because what I buy right now is not gonna match me in like a month when my tan is gone. I'm just taking some of my Essence Brighten Up. Love this stuff still, love it. I'm gonna tap out the creases. <sighs> okay, next, let's go ahead and, I'm gonna go ahead and set my face before I bake my concealer. I'm gonna take this uh, this is the Fit Me Loose Powder. I have been using my Too Faced one that I mentioned in my favorites, but this is a darker powder, and I had a feeling I was gonna need to use this today because this foundation looked a little bit light. Hopefully this will make my complexion match um, my neck a little bit more. And then this powder is in the shade Light Medium. Oh, yeah. Oh, okay, it's making me match a little bit better. I'm not hating my skin. I thought the powder would make the foundation look a little more cakey, but it actually doesn't. It looks really, really nice. I'm gonna take this from Essence. This, I think, is new too. This is the Loose Setting Banana Powder. I'm so excited to try this. I saw it and instantly I was like, bitch, when did you come out? Kind of small, you don't really get a ton of product, but it was only five bucks. And this girl loves under eye setting powders. Like I am a freak for them. So I was so excited to try this. So we're gonna test it out. And I love Essence. I love Essence. I think it is not talked about enough. I actually have a dedicated Essence video. I did it a few months ago, but it's on my channel where I tested out a ton of stuff. And there were definitely some duds, but the majority of Essence I love. And they're products that I use on a regular basis. I don't really know how that's gonna work until I dust it away. This is the Maybelline Fit Me Matte and Poreless Powder in Toffee. I've seen in videos recently, people use face powders as bronzers and contour. So I actually got this a few months ago. I got this back in the summertime, but it was so light on me. I remember thinking I'm gonna save it until I lose some color, maybe it'll work then. I'm just gonna use this as a bronzer. I wanna say maybe it's Desi Perkins. She uses a face powder as a bronzer. I'm pretty sure it's her. I love her. I love her video, she's so funny. I really, really want, um, the Frenchation palette, but I wanna see it in person. There's one liquid lip in particular, or maybe it's a lipstick, it's like the terracotta shade. That is so up my alley. I think it actually already came to Ulta, but it wasn't at my store. So I wanna see it in person. I'm gonna have to go look at it because I really want that palette. I'm just gonna take that tapered brush and I like to pack it in and out 
and then kind of dust away the excess. I'm gonna tell you right now I don't like it. And the reason I don't like it is because, let me see if I can get you guys a little, here, let me zoom you guys in. This shows too much darkness. I feel like this is one of those powders that is emphasizing my dark circles. I think this made them look worse. I also see a little bit of cakiness going on right here. That could very well be the foundation too. I'm not obsessed, not a good first impression. I have to be careful when it comes to brightening powders because a lot of banana brightening whatever, um, they kind of emphasize dark circles. So a lot of them don't work the best for me. So yeah, I mean, it was only five bucks. I thought I would try it. I'll play with it again and I'll make sure to update you guys in a future video. For blush, I'm gonna take, I'm gonna take this one from Ofra. This is in the shade format. It's like a really pretty bronzy blush. I'm just gonna dust this on my cheeks. I can't use this in the winter. It's too bronzy for me. It's a little too dark, so. I've been using it non-stop with Beach Babe from NYX. I actually like to mix them together, but I'm not gonna do that today, but I can really only use them when I'm tan, so if your girl's trying to get her money's worth. So I just put that on the apple of the cheeks, and then I have this. Now a subscriber asked me to test these out. This is Molten Peach from Maybelline. It's one of their new colors and she actually asked me to test out Topaz too, but they only had two left at the store I was at and they were both swatched so I didn't end up buying them. That pisses me off. I hate when people open up shit and test it out. Like, can you just not do that? That's really rude. So yeah, I didn't end up picking those up but I will say they look really, really dark. They look like they'd be a really good highlight for deep skin. I don't even think I could make that work for my skin tone because uh, I was thinking maybe I could even use it as a bronzer but I think it would be way, way, way too shimmery. So um, yeah, I just wanted to mention that it looks very, very, very bronzy. I Honestly, the only way I could see myself using it for my complexion is probably as an eyeshadow. But I did get this one, Molten Peach. It's really pretty. Let me show you guys a swatch. I've actually heard nothing about this whatsoever, but there she is. And the pan, I feel like it looks really pink, but swatched out, it actually does look like a peachy color. Really pretty. I don't think this is gonna work for me as a highlight, so I wanna try this as a blush topper. I'm gonna take this Duo Fiber brush. This is from Luxie. It's a 516 brush, and I'm just gonna dust it on. I didn't put it on this cheek yet. This is just the Ofra blush, and then this is with the Maybelline highlighter. I think that's really pretty. I think I like that. Oh, so cute. That's really pretty. I like that a lot. Okay, for highlighter, this is a new one also from Maybelline. This is the Nikki Tutorials. I don't think there's a name. I think it's just called the Nikki Tutorials highlighter. I had no idea she even had a collab with Maybelline and I saw it at Ulta and I was like, Excuse me, this is so pretty. Now I think this is actually gonna be too light for me. This looks like it would be perfect for somebody with really fair skin, but I just thought it was so pretty that I had to pick it up and test it out for you guys. Let me show you guys a swatch. This is next to Molten Peach. It's very icy. This reminds me of Mary Lou, or it reminds me of the Kylie Fiji highlighter that I mentioned in my recent favorites, but yeah, I just wanted to show you guys there's a swatch next to molten peach it is very pretty now i am more of a champagne highlight kind of gal but i actually like to take colors like this just on the very very highest point of the cheekbones i think that looks really pretty actually i don't hate it i don't fucking hate it formula is the same as the other master chrome highlighters it doesn't feel like they did anything different with the formula Oh my god, that's so pretty. Okay, I, I'm gonna be honest, this is not something I see myself reaching for on the regular, but when I'm in the mood for this really kind of like whitish, icy highlight, I could see myself using this. This is pretty, yeah, it's really pretty, I like this. I've mentioned this before, Molten Gold is actually too uh, dark for me when I'm pale. I can't use it when I'm at my fairest, but I could see myself doing Molten Gold and then doing this on the very highest point of the cheekbones. Yes, that's something I could get behind. Okay, um, let me go ahead and just spritz my face. Like, I think that's like my favorite step. You know what? I'm actually liking the foundation more now that I did the 
spray. Even when I use Holy Grail products, I actually don't like my face makeup until I spray it with a facial spray. That is just a step in my routine that I found I love the way that my skin looks once I have kind of settled everything with a facial spray. Let's go ahead and finish off the eyes. I'm actually not gonna do anything on the lower lash line just because I don't fucking feel like it. That's really the only reason why. So I'm gonna take this little brush from Morphe. This is a M213. I tried to use this on my lid, but it was too small. But I have been using this for my brow bone highlight. So I'm gonna take this um, with that Nikki Tutorials highlighter. I'm just gonna put it right here under the brow bone. This is like the most Perfect brow bone brush highlight. It's so little and cute. I'm just gonna take it on the inner corner as well. Okay, I took a little break, so I just went ahead and curled my hair. It is doing something crazy today, so I had to just pull it out of my face. I am so annoyed right now because I was doing my bottom mascara and I accidentally hit my face with the brush and I cannot get this off. I'm not even kidding. I haven't been filming for an hour just to really let it dry so I could just pick it off. This bitch won't come off my face. I tried to put some more powder over it. It's just not taking no for an answer and I'm so mad right now because I still have to take Instagram pictures, you know? I don't know what I did to deserve this. Like I legit flipped the fuck out. I put so much powder over it to cover it and it's not coming off so at least we're at the end of this video, that's all I can say. I have a couple of new lip products that I wanna test out. I have this from Wet n Wild. This is a gloss, and this is from the Zodiac collection. It's called Gemini. It's really pretty, but I don't know. Like, it's opaque. You guys know I'm a gloss girl, so. What the fuck? Oh no. Okay, hold on. Hold on. Calm down, bitch. Oh my god, this is. Oh. Okay. Okay. <laughs> okay, this is even worse than I thought. <laughs> Holy shit! Okay. I seriously feel like I look like. I'm from Xenon Girl of the 21st Century. Those are the vibes, right? What the fuck? Okay, no. I'm gonna be 100% honest with you. The only reason I got that lip gloss was because at my Walmart, I got that at Walmart, by the way. Ew, it tastes like plastic. My Walmart actually has a check out a cashier in the beauty section of the store and I went during prime Walmart hours and those fucking lines were backed way up. There was no way I was gonna wait in line. I actually just went to the beauty section and I got like the cheapest gloss I could find. This was like three bucks just so I could check out. So I didn't have to wait in line with all those crazy motherfuckers. Okay, that's the only reason why I bought it. No, that's a no. Um, I have other things to try. So I have this lip liner from Jordana. This is in the shade Coco Loco. I used to be obsessed with Jordana lip liners back in the day. I remember like way back when Carly Bible first started talking about them. I, of course, went out and bought all of them because, you know, that's just who I am. I was at Walgreens the other day. I've been on the hunt for like the perfect brown lip liner, so I went ahead and picked this up. And hopefully it'll make all my dreams come true. First things first, these are very inexpensive. I'm pretty sure they're like three bucks, maybe even less than that, but they're more of a creamy lip liner. I'm gonna take this lipstick. This is by Anastasia. It's cool brown. It's one of their matte lip, one of their matte lipsticks. I almost called it a liquid lip, but it's actually a lipstick. I think this is so pretty. Can totally leave it just like this, but I'm gonna actually go over this with a gloss. This is from Dose of Colors, and this is in the shade Honey, I'm Home. I just recently got this too, and I have already tested this out, and I love this. I just kinda wanna take it one step further. Like, let's just take it there, you know? Kinda make this like a glossy dark brown. I didn't know how this was gonna look, but 
I'm feeling it. I know bold and glossy isn't most people's go-to, but I think it's pretty and I think it's fun to experiment. So I think it looks nice. And that is actually everything. Thank you guys so, so much for watching. I really appreciate it. Um, let me know if you guys have tried any of these products. Leave me suggestions of new products to try. I love, 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 love your suggestions. I love trying new products and I will continue to if that's what you guys wanna see. I am gonna be doing Halloween videos. I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do every Friday, I'm gonna post a video for a Halloween tutorial. I only have one in mind, so please leave me suggestions of things to do because I don't want to say I'm going to do a Halloween video every Friday and then I don't have any ideas. I don't know what's wrong with me. My creativity is not coming to me this year. I'll try to do like a combination of scary, creative, um, affordable, last minute, and things like that. So it's kind of like a video for everyone. Let me know what else you guys want to see. Make sure you subscribe before you go and hit the notification bell so you don't miss any of my videos. Thank you guys so, 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 so much for watching and I will see you in my next one. Bye! Mm, 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 mm. Talking about this the other day, um, cause, excuse me, look, oh shit. <laughs> Bless me. Focus, bitch. Just back it up. <gasps> what the fuck did I do to deserve this life? Okay, bitch, there's more serious things in the world. Calm the fuck down.